everyone. Welcome back to Europe Nation Reactions. I am Tyrone and today on the channel, we got another pitch meeting and it's the Crow 2024. Boy, oh boy. If you wanna know how I feel about the Crow, all you gotta do is get over to Mostly Wrong Opinions. That is the movie review channel that I do with Devin Harris. We did our review for that. Um, I'll even put it as an end card um, here at the end of it. We did a review for Blink Twice and The Crow 2024, and uh, one of those movies we liked way more. Can you guess which one? <laughs> it was Blink Twice we liked more than, than The Crow. Let me tell you, I have a connection with The Crow because of my mom and my, my stepdad. Um, when I was young, I saw the Brandon Lee version, and um, I saw it probably in 1995 because my, my my parents it came out in 94. My parents rented it, and they watched it. And then I went to the video store. Kids, we used to have to go to video stores and pick up these things called uh, video cassettes, okay, and put them in VCRs. <laughs> and um, we used to watch movies like uh, that way. And uh, I really wanted to see this, and it blew my mind as a nine-year-old, <laughs> okay? And it was just sick because I, I thought it was just like, a, it was like, to me at the time, I thought it was like a superhero, like a normal superhero type of thing, getting vengeance type of stuff, right? Uh, but fast forward to what I know about it now that the creator, James O'Barr, um, made it because of out of pain after a drunk driver uh, killed his wife and he was, you know, that's how he was, that was his therapy of writing this comic. Um, you know, and then of course what happened to Brandon Lee was tragic, you know. And then for them to come around and make this, nothing against Bill Skarsgård, he did the best he could in that film with what he had. I blame it all on the writer director, Rupert, whatever the heck his last name is. This guy is his third strikeout because he did Snow White and Huntsman, and he did, um, uh, what is that? Uh, oh, this is blanking my mind. Ghost in the Shell re uh, uh, live action with Scarlett Johansson. Two bad ones. Then this horrible freaking film. But I talked on so much. Let's see what Ryan has to say. So, you have a movie for me? Yes, yes sir, sir, I, I do. do. I was thinking we remake The Crow, the cult classic movie that's irrevocably tied to the tragic passing of Brandon Lee. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Let's remake that one. Is that really necessary? Uh... Yes. Oh my god, well that means we have to do it. <laughs> that's what that word means. Yeah. All right, so tell me yes. about this thing. Our hands are tied. We gotta. Well, we're gonna meet this girl, Shelly, right? And she's being chased by some bad guys. That's the worst kind of guys. Why are they after her? Because her friend sent her an incriminating video of this crime boss, Vincent, they both know. Okay. But before they can get her, she smartly gets herself arrested for drug possession. Brilliant move. Does she tell the cops she's being chased? Nope. nope. Brilliant move. So she gets sent to this co-ed prison rehab style place where she meets the main character Eric who absolutely sucks and they seem to kind of like each other ew, ew. but then ew. the bad guys show up so he shows her how to escape this place he just knows how to leave he does yes so then they just hang Why out he and ever fall leave? in love like in another city or something no just at an apartment in town she stays at sometimes are they actively being pursued by people trying to murder her yes so they have a nice weekend yes. together going to parties hanging nice out weekend. doing drugs okay but then Great somehow weekend. the bad guys find them yeah that makes sense and they freaking kill them. Fatally? Kind of. Eric gets sent to this weird purgatory and Shelly gets sent to hell. Uh, sending Shelly to hell he is tight. Okay. Whoa. And so Eric finds out that their love was so powerful, deep, and pure that it transcended the traditional rules of death. Oh wow, that was some weekend they spent together. The best weekend. So he'll get sent back to Earth as the crow and if he manages to kill the people yes. responsible for the injustice of killing them, Shelly will come back to life. Wow, so what are we like 15 minutes into the movie? We're like 45, 45. 50. Oh my god, what? Yeah, well, we gotta spend a ton of time on the relationship stuff. Well, if that's how long we need to convince people that these two didn't are in love. Didn't convince me oh, at that's all. that's kind of a lot of pressure. I didn't say it was gonna be convincing. Oh, okay. So anyway, it's crow <laughs> time now. He's the crow. Oh yeah, you know it, sir. Well, sort of. What? Well, he has the power to heal himself, but if he doubts their love, he'll lose the power. All right. And so he's hesitating a bit, you know? He's not sure about this whole thing. If he's hesitating, isn't that doubt? Hey, shut up. So then he kills a couple of bad guys and gets 
some clues about where the big bad yeah. guy is. What kind of clues are we talking? Well, he finds <laughs> one of their cell phones and gets some info, and later he finds one of their cell phones and gets some info. <laughs> Do we mix that up a bit? No, just cell phone clues. Just All cell right. phone clues. And eventually he sees that video, and it's a video of Shelly killing someone while being mind-controlled by Vincent. Oh, he has powers. Yeah, he made a deal with the devil so that he, when he gives innocent souls to the devil, he gets to live, and then also he... Do, he could do mind control, and <laughs> he could turn people's eyes wide, it's and he so frowns stupid. instead of frowning. Great antagonist. Yeah, so, so now that Eric saw that video of Shelly killing someone, Don't he's not so sure again. he loves her anymore. <laughs> Didn't he just kill multiple people? He's just not sure anymore, and since that was the condition of his powers, he dies and goes back to purgatory. Oh, well, it's going to be tough to get back to the world of the living if he messed no. up the one requirement for being there. Actually, it's going to be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh, oh really? Yeah, he tells the freaking guy living in purgatory that he'll give up his soul for hers. Oh, so he's 100% sure about the love now? Oh yeah, sure as can be. What's changed since the last scene? Well, we're in a different scene now. <laughs> That's a good point. So he gets sent back to Earth and he's gonna become the crow. I thought he was already the crow. Yeah, but like for real this time and there's like 20 minutes left in the movie, so it's gonna be good. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> so he goes to this opera house where Vincent is and absolutely slaughters a bunch of bodyguards, just kills them real good. He's supposed to be killing the people that killed him and his girlfriend Friend, right? Are these people involved in that? Doesn't matter. They're Doesn't dead. Matter. Kinda matters. Nope. Fair enough. Doesn't and he matter. chops a couple heads off and goes on the opera house stage and throws the heads into the audience and everybody screams. Is that an audience full of bad guys? Well, no. It's it's an audience. So he just fully traumatized a room full of mostly innocent people. He does. So that's pretty cool. I guess. So then he finally gets to Vincent <laughs> and manages to bring him down to purgatory and send him to hell and save Shelly. Oh, wow, wow, wow. 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 Yeah, and so now that she's saved, she wakes up at the moment they both died, but she's alive and Eric is dead. Wait, back to the moment they died? Does that mean that none of it happened? It doesn't Unclear. make any sense. Bringing her back to that point kind of makes it seem like none of that stuff happened and the bad guys are still out there looking for her. There's just no way to know what I meant by this. Well, okay then. So what do you think? Hey, it sounds like a remake nobody wanted or asked for, but you said right. we gotta do it, so I don't see how this could go wrong. Bombs. Bombs. Yeah, this this movie deserves to bomb, and it is, is it deserves to bomb on so many levels. Of you guys wanted to remake it in the first place, but then two, when you remade it, you did you didn't do anything of the core. Like he just said, slaughtering all these innocent people coming down. You're supposed to be killing the people who are directly responsible for this, but no. Some people, his and, and Rupert defense, Rupert, I had to guess his name. I said Robert, whatever freaking his name is, the director and writer of this film. He was, he was, he'd probably be like, no, they're involved. They deserve to die because they work for the bad guy. Ah, so dumb. So dumb and stupid. This should tell you leave stuff alone, make original content, leave stuff alone make original content okay <laughs> it's it's like you know the movie industry has been has been out for 130 years close to that 130 years and anything that is like kind of like in black and white you know has been remade several times stuff from the 30s you know has been remade in the 60s and you know 70s 80s and stuff like that because it gave a, a new uh, contextual uh, look at, at the at the film for the film and the story, right? You know, uh, updated uh, uh, special effects and you know and, and different type of writing and stuff. But when you have something as fresh as The Crow, thir even 30 years later seems so fresh because of the vibe and the acting and again the tragic passing of Brandon Lee all that wrapped up in one you don't touch it because <laughs> if you didn't learn from the sequels that came afterwards that's based on different crows you could have did that you could have you you could have did uh, the uh, uh, a um a remake of those if you were gonna do it but if you didn't learn from those failing you shouldn't have touched it <laughs> shouldn't have touched the crow at all rupert you suck and i hope you see my video and other people's videos you suck as a writer. Not, not so much on your video, your, your aesthetics in your video and your movies. Your aesthetics in your movies is okay. That's fine. But and some of your camera angles is okay. But you as compiling a story together and making dialogue that makes sense 
And, and if your choice was to hire FKA Twigs, a great musician, as a actress, <laughs> bro, you, you trash, trash. Bill, Bill Skarsgård um, is a great actor. And he was just in the wrong movie. <laughs> okay, <laughs> to be honest with you. He has another film coming out later this year, Nosferatu, which is what I just said, reinterpreting something that is super old. You know, uh, Robert Eggers is directing that film, writing that film, but he's reinterpreting something that is super old from like the freaking 1920s. And he's bringing it to life uh, into a new generation. That's how you do it. He's given a whole new contextual aesthetic and vibe to it from the trailer that we see. We didn't see the film yet, but I, I am pretty sure Mr. Bill Skarsgård is gonna knock that role out of the park. Okay, that's how you do it, Rupert. Put down the pen, go home, live on the farm, do whatever you need to do. I, I, I don't care, you know, milk, milk a cow. <laughs> All right, but anyway, thank you, Mr. Ryan George, for pointing out how trash this film is. Get in the comments and let me know what you thought about this. Uh, I hope that you did not like this, but if you did, that's up to you. At whatever you know it's just me uh, all right it's, it's not just me it's a lot of people who didn't like this film but uh yeah get in the comments let me know what you let me know what you thought and if you did like my reaction please hit the thumbs up it really does help out the channel more than you know and if you're new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button hit that notification bell to stay up to date with everything i do right here on your major reactions popping up over here is something else that i uh react to it could be anything i do a lot of things on this channel but i think you should watch that and then come on back for something else that's interesting all right see you in another reaction rupert stay away from movies peace <laughs>